The Trump administration is implementing new rules pertaining to gun manufacturers here in the United States and how they can sell guns to other countries. Now, this is a story that's been developing for quite some time, but now we have a better grasp of what the new rules indicate. And it essentially allows gun makers to sell their guns internationally with little to no oversight. And it also allows them to sell some weaponry that is problematic, especially if the United States government is gonna continue pretending like it's worried about terrorist activity in other countries. So according to the rules, gun makers will no longer need licenses from the Department of State to sell dozens of types of weapons to other countries, including semi-automatic assault weapons. Instead though, sellers will need only a no fee license from the Department of Commerce, which has a less onerous licensing process and a smaller global footprint, making it harder to track how the weapons are ultimately used overseas. Oh, Great, so that, here, that shouldn't cause any problems. So this is me maybe being a little conspiratorial, but I'm just gonna share what I think happens. And I've seen it happen over and over again when it comes to our foreign policy. Now, it usually happens in a way where we arm people uh, you know, abroad, and then later, the very people that we've armed end up becoming our enemies, and then we engage in war with them. And I don't think that that's done on accident. I think that that's done because we want perpetual war. But I think in this case, it's a win-win for weapons manufacturers. It's a win-win for private military contractors, because essentially, you're already starting new wars. You don't know how they're gonna develop, but you're arming. We don't even know who you're arming. You're just allowing people who have a profit motive in the United States to sell this type of weaponry abroad with little to no oversight. Let me give you more details. Those who want to export flamethrowers that project a stream of fire up to 20 meters, about 66 feet, will no longer need a State Department license. No, but to be fair, Anna, there's a lot of people defending their homes in other countries with flamethrowers and grenades. Or maybe uh, the people who buy that kind of stuff would be the exact kind of people who might be bad guys. And let me list some possibilities for you guys, drug cartels. And here, I'm gonna make a prediction ahead of time. I predict that there will be a story in some period of time uh, where a drug cartel uh, burns people alive with flamethrowers. Why? They could be the first to buy these. Now that there's no regulation, uh, why wouldn't a drug cartel buy flamethrowers? Oh, they're gonna line up immediately to do it. Uh, could terrorist groups then uh, easily buy uh, these kind of weapons in mass now? Yes, very easily. But hey, right wingers, I don't know. I. I thought you couldn't stand MS-13 and terrorists, etc. But if that's not enough for you, the government of Venezuela could buy a lot of these for their militias, for their guards that protect Maduro. Have I got your attention yet? And you're saying, oh, well, care. that won't they happen. They don't care, they but don't care. None of you guys care, none of you guys care. And the thing that drives me crazy is that we enable the bad guys in various countries, we enable drug cartels both in our prohibition of drugs, okay? And in the way that we sell weaponry throughout the world. And then when they brutalize people in their own countries, and then women and children flee for safety seeking refuge in the United States, we'll go ahead and we'll demonize the people that we have enabled others to brutalize. That's what we'll do, that's what this country is all about. And so every time I hear the jingoistic nonsense about how the United States is the best country in the world, no we're not. How much pain and suffering does our policy, which is 100% fueled by profit motives of corporations, harm others in other countries? All the time, we do it all the time, so, and it's not an accident. So the main reason for this is obvious, the NRA pays the politicians and they say, no, our gun manufacturers wanna sell more weapons. Do we care that they go to terrorists or drug cartels? Why the hell would we care? In fact, then the people terrorized by those groups will have to buy weapons to counter them. And will that lead to massacre after massacre in those countries like it has in our country? Yes, and then people will buy more guns. And that is exactly the poison that we're spreading across the world because a bunch of greedy politicians needed one more campaign contribution. And, and needed independent expenditures from the NRA. So they sold their soul and now far more people will be murdered all across the world with semi-automatic weapons, with grenades and flamethrowers. And I guess they'll be laughing all the way to the bank.
That's how deeply immoral they are. One final part of this that you should be aware of. Um, so there are limits in terms of the number or the, the amount of money that you can make through selling these weapons without oversight. And, and it's important for you to know. So sales of less than $1 million in arms will not require advance notification to Congress, which allows lawmakers a period of time to block a potential sale. So if you're selling under a $1 million worth of weapons, you don't have to worry about Congress getting involved and blocking that sale. And I would argue that it's important for people to know what's going on. It's important to know that there's some oversight involved in what's happening. Because you wanna know where the weapons are going. You wanna know who's buying the weapons. You wanna know what the ramifications will be in the future. But no, yeah. I mean, again, this country is not run by the people for the people. It's run by corporations, it's run by weapons manufacturers, it's run by private military contractors. The best interests of Americans, American citizens, or people abroad is not considered right now under this current political system. It's just not. The only thing that the NRA ever hangs their hat on is, no, 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 good guys need guns too to protect their families. Which good guys are spending $990,000 on weaponry? And you think that they can't get around the regulation of the million dollars by just doing two, three, eight different orders of $990,000 worth of weapons? Of course they can, so they'll now be able to sell pretty much unlimited number of weapons to anyone who wants it. It doesn't matter how bad of guys they are, they're never even gonna check. Thanks for watching this free clip of the Young Turks. Don't forget to become a TYT member today. For more exclusive content, join now at tyt.com slash join.